All right, back to color. Oh gosh. <laughs> Yo! Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Maleko, and welcome to the channel. And thank you so much for joining us on today's episode. So on today's episode, we are going to be doing something very uncomfortable with color. <laughs> getting uncomfortable is going to be something that you need to get used to. And that's with anything in life, really, <laughs> when I think about it. But you need to get uncomfortable with what you're doing, with what you're drawing. If there are things that you don't like drawing, draw them because it will make you better. I don't like coloring so much, but I've been working a lot on how I color because I know it adds another dynamic to my pieces, but it's also another skill that I'm working on so that I just have that skill or that ability, or as some people will say, that talent. Um, it's just your ability to want to, to learn that medium and how hard you work at it. So put in the hours, guys. So since I've been doing a lot of coloring lately, I wanted to challenge myself because I looked up videos on best ways to get better at coloring, how to color, how to shade, how to blend and all that. And most of the people that I've watched, they all talk about using grayscale to color. So taking a painting or a reference, instead of coloring it straight uh, from its reference, I'm gonna take the colors, put it into the palette, um, and then we're gonna make it black and white. So we're just gonna use grayscales to color this picture. So I wanted to show you guys first, this is the reference that we're using. There's a lots of lots of colors. And I threw it into our palette here, and this is what we got. Let me move it over. So here's all the colors. We got like a tan, a green, uh, ranges of blues, purples, reds, and maybe some browns, or at least it's got some brownish in there. But let's go ahead and turn off this color real quick. Hang on, let's go here, then we go to here. No, general. Why do I always forget this? Display and brightness. Oh, accessibility. Displays and text size. Oh boy, here we go. Turning off the color. Mm. Pro oh, it says it here. Pro protanopia. Protanopia. That's the kind of colorblind that I am. Protanopia. Protanopia. I'll say that, man. All right, guys. Okay. So before we actually dive into this project, if you guys want to try this along with me, go ahead and grab your pencil because it's just gonna be black and white. If you guys have a tablet, go grab your tablets, put on Procreate, and let's get ready to create some chaos. Here we go. Okay, so let me draw this choke chain first on my character. I'm just gonna do some randomness here because those things. This is my friend. Samantha. Uh, I've known her since high school. Such a sweetheart. Um, and she's been helping me out with like giving me some photos to kind of reference and and use for my art because I'm trying to I'm trying to build my portfolio uh, because yeah dude I want to make this like my uh, main, main gig. Okay. So we're gonna start with let's outline this bitch first. Oh gosh, that's horrible. Oh gosh. Up, over, it doesn't have to be perfect guys because we're gonna fill the lines anyway. Okay, so the first one we're gonna use is this mid-tone gray. I like to use as far as painting right now, the round, br the round brush, Giuseppe, and flat brush are my favorites to use. We're gonna see how this color comes out, or how the color comes out. I think that's the fun part of this, man. Oh, gosh. Is that once this is all done, we're going to turn the color back on and see how this goes. If you guys haven't seen, um, I know Sam Does Arts is, is one that did this. I don't know that I did it. I don't know if Ross Dross did it. Ross Dross? Ross Dross did it as well, but I, again, he talked about using grayscale as a way of coloring because it takes away all the color and your expectation, right? Because sometimes we, we uh, get ahead of ourselves and want to use all the colors that are in the picture, but it's crazy how color works sometimes. Not sometimes, all the time. So it can, they say it can trick your brain if you can see all the colors. So if you use just grayscale, you're kind of just trusting the lights and the darks to create your picture. So this is going to be fun, man, just to see how this turns out. Um, not knowing what color I'm using, just thinking that it's gray. This is my light's going to come up top. I need that part to be darker. The outside's going to be lighter. Like so. 
Then the inside of her arm here is going to be lighter. Lighter. Oh, there's a lot of light coming through on that. Maybe there's more light source coming from the right side as well. Okay, so now we're going to go to... That's the same color. We're going to go to this lighter color. Oh, and then we're going to choose a new layer. Still getting used to that, guys. Create a new layer. Draw on top. Create a new layer. Draw on top. Up for you. Let me ask you this. For you guys, when it comes to coloring skin, if you color skin, do you guys keep everything on the same layer, or is every piece, like every shadow, um, like the clothing, and then the, the face, and then all that, are those separate layers for you guys, or are they the same layer? Because that's some brave stuff if you're on the same layer. Okay, so now, okay. That's a bit darker. Okay, her hair is gonna be, I know this color here. Oh, open a new layer, gosh darn it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yes, yes, honey. Okay, I'm not gonna go over the skin just yet because she does have some hair that's going over her shoulder. I'm gonna leave that open for now. Yeah, all the way up here is gonna be nice and light and then it gets darker towards the bottom, like so. Okay, yeah, Um. so I'm gonna create a new layer so I can go over the shirt. And same idea here, we're just gonna create some shapes that mimic what's on the page here. And then we'll, we'll go and fill it in with more detail, but for now, it's just gonna be some parts like so. Oh, girl, look at you, boy! Have you guys ever done this before? Let me know in the comments down below how it did, how it went for you. If you guys have the pictures, please let me see them. Oh, if you guys don't know what flag that is, you guys know what flag that is? I'm not gonna tell you right now, but if you guys know what flag that is, let me know in the comments down below. I'll tell you guys at the end of the video. Oh, of course, you guys could look it up while I'm doing all this, but. <laughs> New layer. This is gonna be the highlights for belly. Alright, so far so good. Okay. Highlight. Highlights, highlights. The nose area. Get smaller, slightly. The eye. If the light is coming from up top, it's gonna shade here. The nose, but the other side of the nose is gonna be darker. That's gonna be dark. We're gonna lighten up the head. Okay, now we're gonna go slightly darker. Which one that one? Yeah, the light one, yeah. I feel like that one will probably be the best. Oof. But we'll find out, guys. I'm nervous about how this is going to turn out, but I'm having no expect expectations right now. Kind of just, just getting lost in the picture. Uh, you gotta, it's like you gotta trust the process. It's hard. Ooh, girl. Okay, darker areas here. I'm gonna go down here, which is pretty dark. Here, underneath the chin, because the light is coming down. Reflecting down here, like so, onto the chest. Tool area. <laughs> I don't know why. Uh, I don't know why. Chestal area, that's not even a word. Um, I don't know if this is okay to use the same color. Maybe this is just be for the skin, huh? And then we'll change the color to like maybe I don't know that. I don't think that's dark enough, man. Okay. Uh, maybe this. Let's find out. Oh, oh, that's alright. Mm. Yeah, 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 yeah. So far, I like how the mess or what the mess has done, because from far away it looks, you know, pretty abstract in that way, which I like. <laughs> Okay, so now we're gonna go to, I don't know, maybe that color, we'll see. Because it's darker, I need it to cover the darker sides. There's not much going on here. It's kind of dark there. Dark underneath. Here's the thing, at the end of all this, we're going to blend all this together, so it's gonna be looking different once we're done with it. Oh, gosh. Okay, so this is, no, that's not the shadow color. Let's go here, why not? You know, let's just mess around and find out what happens. We don't know for sure, but I guess that's the best part. We'll worry about the pants later, but for now, we're just gonna focus on all of this. Okay, so, okay, so this is what I have so far. I haven't blended anything yet. I just kind of laid everything down as to where I think um, all the colors should be laying. Oh gosh. Like so. So, anything over here, oh, that was a little too dark, okay, we'll just say something like that, that, and that, yeah, again, like, I, I feel like, you know, this is a good piece, so I think we're done here, thank you guys so much for joining me on this episode of Maleko Draws. Just kidding, guys, of course we're not done yet, man, okay, so now, let's blend. Time to blend. It's 
Get to be done, okay. Hubba yubba. Nice. Loving it, loving it. enjoying this ride or this chaos. Remember, if you're a beginner artist, you're going to have a lot of these times where it gets really uncomfortable with the things that you draw. That's okay because anything that you do in life is going to be that's uncomfortable is what's going to make you grow. We're just scared of the uncomfortable because it's unknown to us, you know. It's like we want to know what's going to happen in order for us to really do it, but those who are successful in life never knew how it was going to end up for them. But they had to be afraid of what they were doing. They had to trust that it was all going to fall into place so long as they just kept on going. And you have to do the same. If you want to be an artist, through all the times that, you know, some pieces you're going to be like, oh gosh, that piece sucks. But those pieces that, you know, you're like, oh, I hate that one. Those are the ones that are gonna get to you the one, those are the ones that'll get you to the one where you're like, oh, that piece was really good. It just takes time and practice and practice and you draw the things that you love to draw. Don't just draw random things. Well, maybe if you love to draw random stuff, then you know, all the more power to you, but Focus on certain things like painting. I want to get better at painting and I can keep on watching videos after video after video and just be like, oh, I could do that. But without knowing or having a structure to what I'm doing, there's no way that I'm going to get better. So I have to, like this, like today, using grayscales, I'm scared, but that's all right. This is all for you guys so that you understand that learning or wanting to learn something new or be better at something, you have to get really uncomfortable. I'm not gonna say that this is gonna be good. Oh, I love this. I'm not gonna be all right, great. <laughs> but at the same time, we are going to learn from this experience. Okay, so smaller round, so I can get these folds. Oh, Maybe one there. I don't think she'll need it, but just add a little bit more dimension to that. Okay. Looking pretty good so far. Okay, now down to the to the belly area. This is not gonna be like an like a all the way finished piece. Um, just so that you guys know, this is gonna be something that I'm again like I'm practicing laying down the values and the light colors and just trying to understand like don't worry too much about the color just yet, but like try to find the values and the color. You know, that would really really make it pop. Okay, let's go to the hair. Um, that one there. Oh boy, this is gonna be fun. The hair is always... That's another thing that I'm going to be working on too, guys, is hair. Hair... I don't know what my style is as far as, like, hair, you know? Like, I kind of just draw the outline or the shape of the hair and then, like, add everything in between, which is fine. But I just be seeing some artists who have, you know, crazy uh, skills in their hair, in the hair department. <laughs> and I want to get there too. Like, I feel like if my... I mean, my hair might be okay. But, again, I want to get better and have more range in what I'm doing as far as how I'm doing my hair. Oh, gosh. I want to be one-dimensional when it comes to hair, or drawing hair. So that means to try different things. Don't just stick with one. Oh, look at this. Bruh. Oh, look at the way the hair is coming out, dude. That looks clean as hell. Go ahead, boy. Go ahead, boy. Not that. This, maybe. No. There we go. Okay, now we're going to color or get rid of some of these lines. Okay. Sorry, it's a mess, regardless. Okay. Hmm. So now, 
So now, let's draw in some hair. I feel like we're kind of at the end of this. Pandani? Probably. Okay, we'll go for a lighter color here. Let's try that. Just to highlight the outsides here. I mean, I don't know what it's going to do, but we put them on now. Oh, yeah. Oh, you know what? Let's see the flat brush. I really love how the flat brush looks. Honey. We're just going to add it to the top layers here. Because I'm hoping, what I'm hoping is, is that this is like a pink or purplish color. Um, here. Yeah, light coming from there. Maybe just a little bit in the hair. I'm going to streak some areas. Oh, gosh, I don't know what I'm doing here. Okay. And now, oh, boy. We are going to go to... All right, you guys, now, time for the reveal. Oh, gosh, wait a minute. I know that her teeth are colored in right now. All right? We'll get rid of the first layer here. Okay, second layer. Look at that. Look at those pearly whites pop through. This is not the official color we are going to use, though, because, again, pure white just looks so awkward, or it looks weird. So, we are going to use uh, this color. <laughs> we don't know what color it is, but we're just going to do it anyway, y'all. That's okay. Let's put this here. This is gonna go behind. Oh boy, oh boy. Okay. Alright, you guys. Get ready for the grand rebel. Oh, wait. We have to finish the hair. Okay, let me finish the hair first. Uh, we are going to use maybe Mercury. One. It's too thick. Okay. Uh, this color here. And we're just gonna, you know what? We're not gonna be too um, crazy about it. We're just gonna add some lines here to indicate that there's more than just what we see. Because she has the wavy hair. And I feel like that should be. Good. I can continue, and I can keep on continuing to work on this, but I'm going to reveal this right now because I think that I'll work on it on my own time, but I want to see what has been done so far, and I know that you guys do too. So, let's get this reveal in here in a second. Okay, so, if you guys haven't found out what flag that is, that is Hawaii's original flag before it was the British uh, flag in the red and white stripes. Um, this was the original uh, Hawaiian flag before that. Okay, guys. All right. Here we go for that grand reveal. I didn't do the pants, but that's also because, you know, her pants are just straight black. Here we go, y'all. I'm nervous. Where is it? Display and brightness. No, no, no. General. No, accessibility, display, text size. All right, back to color. Oh gosh. <laughs> Yo! Look, I got the I got the the skin tone correct. But I used blue? Hold on. Yo. <laughs> She's a girl from Avatar, bro. <laughs> hey, though, I did get the pink highlights right. But this blue skin, man, this girl's from Avatar. Although I really do like the hair. I like how the hair turned out. The hair turned out pretty good. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> okay, so I'm <laughs> I'm actually going to finish this piece. Um, so I'll I'll see you guys I'll see you guys in a second. Um, but that was really fun to try and get down. Um, but yeah, let me fix this real quick. So I'll be back in a second, guys. All right, you guys, I am finishing this piece up here. Even with the original piece after I revealed it, I think um, that I honestly actually liked it. Um, I just had to step back and take a look at it. You know what I mean? Sometimes you got to take a step back and look at your art. You can't just think that it's going to come out right away how you plan. You got to take your time. Sometimes look at it, look at it again, look at it again, take a break from it. Go to sleep, wake up, look at it again. <laughs> um, but sometimes you get lucky and see a piece and be like, oh, actually, you know what? That looks not that bad. And right now, that is how I feel about this piece. It's actually not too.
too bad. What do you guys think? Not too bad. I feel like, you know, again, like I said, I can do better in some parts, but at the same time, very happy with how it came out. All right, you guys, I hope you guys had fun on this on this adventure. Um, if you guys made it all the way to the end of the video, you already know what you have to do. Please, please hit that like button. I'm not gonna beg, please. <laughs> and if you found this video useful, informational, if you just had fun, please consider hitting that subscribe button because this community is going to be amazing. Already, we have grown to 87 subscribers within only a month. That makes me so happy, guys, and I can't say enough how much I appreciate and love each and every one of y'all. Let's keep this journey going, guys. If you Again, if you guys have any questions, please let me know. I'd love to get to know you guys. All right, you guys, I'll see you in the next video. Peace. And a double Reese.